Hey everyone, this is Ray, and today we're going to be talking about plate tectonics. All right, so what do you need to know about plate tectonics? Firstly, you need to know uh, that the Earth is made of plates, all right? So let's talk about the Earth. Uh, we're going to draw it with three layers. You may be familiar, Earth has a center core, a very hot, uh, more solid center, has a mantle, in, in the middle, it's a hot liquidy section, and then you have the crust on the uh, outsides, the solid bit that you walk on, right? Um, also sometimes called the lithosphere. Lithosphere is a fancy Greek word that means a rock sphere. Lithos means rock, so it's the hard, rocky outer uh, part of the earth. And the, the lithosphere, or the crust, is not just made of one big piece, but it's actually made of plates. So we're going to draw two plates from the side like this, all right? So we've got two plates. And uh, it's, it's, the earth is actually made up of seven or eight plates, depending on how they're counted. Um, and there's two kinds, all right? So the first kind is oceanic. Oceanic plates are, it's easy to remember because they're under the ocean. They're usually covered with water. They are uh, relatively thin and dark. It's actually a very dark black rock, um, generally made of a rock called basalt. All right, so thin, heavy, dark rock. Then there are continental plates, continental, which are usually above the ocean, um, usually made of a Thicker, thicker plate, much lighter. Um, we'll speckle it because oftentimes it's made of granite. And you might be thinking, wait a second, Ray, granite is actually pretty heavy though. Um, but it's not as heavy as basalt. Basalt is, is quite a bit more dense or heavier. So when they uh, interact, usually the basalt sinks beneath the granite. All right, so uh, those are the two different kinds of plates. And then the interesting thing about tectonics is that they move. Um, plates move because of two main things, and the first most Im important thing uh, is something called convection, or convection currents. If you've ever seen a pot, a pot of water that's boiling, right, it's on your stove, and there's heat coming up from the bottom, it causes water, the hot water in the center of the burner to rise, and then as it goes around the side of the pot, it cools, and you can see there's a little current formed there. There's another one on this side. That's called a convection current. It's these, uh, these currents that form when, when liquid is heated. Well, the mantle is liquid and the core is extremely hot. And it causes mantle to rise and fall in much the same manner. And it causes these currents, um, these circular currents that start at the center of the earth and then sink back into the core. Now, you can imagine that the the plates, these solid plates, are floating on the mantle, and the mantle is moving uh, in this way. And, and just like a ship on water, the plates are going to float off to the right or to the left as a result of this kind of flow. And actually, you probably wouldn't want to be standing right there where the two plates are diverging because uh, a lot of hot material comes up from the earth there. But we'll just imagine that you're, you're in a boat floating on the ocean. Um, so there are three kinds of boundaries where plates meet and interact. And this is where the real tectonics come in. Uh, the first part, I'll write it up here, is we're going to talk about a diverging boundary. All right, diverging boundary. Um, and this is where two plates, we're, gonna, we're just going to say these are two oceanic plates come uh, move apart. And so uh, they're oceanic, so we're going to make them dark, basalt, thin plates. And uh, imagine there are some convection currents that are pushing these two apart, right? And so they're diverging. But not only are they being pushed apart by convection currents, but the second thing that causes them to move is there's new material being spurted out from, uh, from the surface of the Earth. This is an underwater volcano, because these are two oceanic plates. Uh, these are very common. And new material is coming out, and it's actually building up these big mountains on the sides of this, this ridge. This, is, this becomes a big ridge. And because they're very tall and very heavy, uh, gravity is going to be 
pulling them whoops, off to the side, right? So gravity is going to pull these. So now there's two forces that are pushing these two plates apart. So diverging boundary, but because new plate material is being created here, we also like to call it a constructive, constructive plate boundary. All right, and uh, there, this is very common. If you look in between, actually here, look on a map and you'll see America with Florida, you got South America there, you've got Europe, Spain, Africa, all right? Uh, you notice they kind of match. Anyways, there's a whole theory behind that as well. Very much related to plate tectonics. But if you look between them, there is kind of a stitch that goes along the ocean floor, and that's called the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And it's in the middle of the Atlantic, and it's a ridge. And uh, so that's a fun, um, fun thing you might have seen on a, on a map, but never known exactly what it was. Well, now you know it's a constructive plate boundary where new plate material is being created. Now, um, we're going to talk about a converging instead of diverging plate boundary. And so let's imagine we've got a got a uh, got an oceanic plate over here. We've got a big, light, or relatively light granite continental plate over here, and they are being pushed by currents uh, toward one another. All right, so they're coming together. Right, we've got a convection current there. They're being pushed together, but because the the oceanic plate is so much heavier then the, uh, the lighter continental plate, it's actually going to get pushed underneath it. It's going to subside, all right? And it's actually going to melt back into the hot mantle. And so that, uh, that, that uh, oceanic plate is, is, is going back into the mantle. It's, it's not really being destroyed, but it's ceasing to be um, plate material anymore. So we call it a not a constructive, but a destructive. All right, destructive plate boundary. Um, this is very common uh, at the coast of, of continents, like uh, the western coast of the United States. The entire coast is pretty much one uh, or two big, uh, big converging plate boundaries. And uh, oh, another really, really cool thing that happens here is you form these deep trenches where the two uh, where the two plates meet. There's a famous trench called the Mariana Trench in, um, in the Pacific Ocean, which happens to be the deepest part of the ocean, deepest point on Earth, where, um, where these two oceanic plates actually are, are converging. All right, and then the last one is a transform. All right, and a transform plate boundary, I'm actually going to draw it from the top. So imagining you're looking down on these two plates and they're, and they're, uh, they're being pushed together. But um, because, because we'll say they're two continental plates, right? Two granite continental plates. They weigh about the same amount and uh, they just, neither one is going to get on top of the other. So they're actually going to just slide off kind of like, like so. Um, it, you know, a side by side, and it creates it's a transform fault where neither one is is uh, is moving uh, on top of the other. No new material is being created, so it's not constructive or destructive. We call it a conservative conservative plate boundary. Uh, there's a famous one of these um, called the the San Andreas Fault near uh, Los Angeles, where I grew up. These faults. Um, are famous for, for creating you know, pretty bad earthquakes because the, they cause the earth to shake in a lateral form and it's really hard to, it's really hard to, to build buildings that can take that side to side uh, uh, swaying when these, when these plates uh, strike and slip across each other. You, you hear about strike slip faults when you talk about earthquakes. So that's basically, the, those are the basics of plate tectonics. Um, should be able to, uh, to get you going there. So uh, thank you for watching and best of luck.